two messages today, totally different. The first one, I value women. Say it with me. I value women. One more time. I value women. A whole message just on that. And I was tough as nails. I know that not every woman is a good woman. I understand that. I know that not everybody had a, a great mama. I know that. But you're not off the hook. And you can't treat people, women, with disrespect. Got it? Yes or no? No excuse here. If you do that here, I'm ashamed of you. Did you hear me? Not proud of you. Now, I'm proud of you. I want to be proud of you. But imagine if you talk to my wife the way some of you might talk to women. That's not going to fly with me. And who am I? Well, I'm just a regular guy. But I'm a representative of the Lord. Did you hear me today? This is His Word. That was the first message. Got it? And can you imagine knowing the way my mother was beat and then murdered, my own mother, that if you would speak disrespectfully to my mother, uh, about my mother or to my mother's face, can you imagine how unglued I would become? Yes or no? Just think that way. Think that's a good thing, whether it's at Publix or it's at uh, Walmart. People don't deserve your disrespect. They deserve our respect. Amen. Fearfully and wonderfully made. Women in the image of Almighty God. Amen. Now, that was the first message. Whole message. 40 minutes solid. You got to listen to it because I told stories about stuff I've done and it was nasty. Poop I had to change and how that I'm not a woman and I can't do the stuff women can do. Amen. I'm just telling you, it was a great message. You will laugh at part of it. I'm telling you. So get it. It's online. And you can check it out this afternoon if you want to or this week. Here's part two. Different message. I value men. Say it with me. I value men. One more time. I value men. Men matter. Oh, I thought it was just about women. No, no. Oh, by the way, I met your daddy the other day. Did he tell you? Yeah, he walks down to Lemon Bay Park. Correct? And now, did you get a house over on Sesame? I'm telling the whole world where you live. <laughs> you know why I'm doing that? Because you got that ugly shirt on. Can you stand up and let everybody see your ugly shirt? Look at this ugly shirt. Charlotte Athletics. Sit down. You just sit down. Just sit down. Sit down. Where's Chuck Bears at? Come get him. Come get him. Lemon Bay. But anyway, but you're a Lemon Bay boy. You what? You wore it for me. I know you did. I know you did. Just don't be bringing something Green Bay and putting it on. You hear me? Come on, Bubba. No, anyway. But uh, no, but you graduate from Lemon Bay, though. You and your brother. Twins. Funny, but I did meet your dad and I enjoyed it. I talked to him probably 30, 45 minutes down at the park the other day. Tell him I said hi. Hey, Amen. Let's go back to the message. You know why I spoke to him like that? Because I value him. You understand? I didn't know his daddy the other day. You know why I took time with your daddy? Because your daddy matters. He deserved my little time at the park just to talk to him. Amen. And I ain't got this down perfect. But the Lord's helped me with this, and I want to share it with you. Amen? Here we go. Let's go. Right here. Value. I value men. Here's different pictures of different men. Now, we, could, we did in the ladies' service this morning. I had women's pictures all through it. This time, we ain't. We're going to just give you a few of them, and we're going right to it. Here we go. Here we go. Let's go, buddy. Oh, look at more of them. Look at that. Look at that. See that little boy up to the top left? He's about 11 years old now. And yesterday, I worked him like a dog. That's Ray Baker's son. I had that boy working in the dirt, raking. He had granny beads all around his neck. You know them old dirty beads? He had them all around his neck. And his brother worked them like a dog. They were dirty. Good. They deserved it. But I paid him. Look at that. Look at his eyes. Look at that. Some good pics, man. I love all that. Look at you guys. Awesome. I value men, not just the men of our church, but men in general. Men matter. Amen? That's some amen and from heaven. Amen. 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 Men matter. Amen. Come on. I love that. Boy, look at all you guys. Rod, you got a bunch of pics, man. Good. We're just, we're going to get to a message eventually. Say that verse with me. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. 
and he delights in his way. One more time. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delights in his way. Amen? Now, guys, I said it in the first service. Not every man, I said about women, but not every man is a good man. Maybe your dad wasn't good to you. Maybe your husband was not a good man. Got it? I understand that. But that doesn't give you the right to be disrespectful to men because of the way a man treated you. We are to, to respect men. I gave the same message in the first hour. I'm going to be all on men this hour. So don't just say, he just loves men. He don't want to talk about the women. And women don't matter to him. That's a bald-faced lie. This is how I did it. One for one and one for the other. Amen? It's called Value Sunday. People matter. Men matter. So, here's what God says about men. And God said, let us make what? Man in our image after our likeness. That's just plain English right there. Pretty amazing. So God says, we're going to make man. This is God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit back in Genesis chapter number 1. And he says that. And so he created man. He created Adam. Say Adam. Adam. Now the word, he says, we're going to make him in our image. And our word, the word the image is the word what? Picture. Guys, why would Jesus go to the cross and die for men and women, boys and girls? Because we're made in his image. Now we're not God. We're not God. Like, you know, different false religions teach that one day you're going to be God. The Bible does say, 1 John 3, 2, Beloved, that doth not yet appear what we shall be, but we know that when he, Jesus, shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. We're going to be like Jesus, but you're never going to be God. Got that? Yes or no? Doesn't matter what anybody says. Now, you're going to have incredible things that you and I get to do in heaven. But we are, when God created man, he created us in his image and in his likeness. We are a picture of God. Say that. We are a picture of God. You're not God. You're to be humble. You're to be at his feet. No one's to worship you. We worship him. Amen. But just think about that when you talk disrespectfully to somebody. That you mean that person we're talking to is made in the image of God. God made them in his image. They are like God, and I'm going to speak that way. It can change the whole way you communicate with people. So it's a picture. The word likeness, we're going to make them in our likeness, in our image. It's a similar word. It's the word picture. Okay, so we are a picture of God. We're made like him. So God created man, say it with me, in his own what? Image, and the image of God created he him. Amen. So, the Lord God formed man. Man, how? Out of the dust of the ground. You might say, I don't believe the Bible, Clark. I don't believe God took dust and formed it and breathed into dust nostrils and, and man became a living soul. Guess what? I believe every word of that. You can believe the slime story that some joker named Darwin and whoever before him, not many before him, actually, it's a, late come, a lady, lately come Johnny story, really, to be honest with you. Last couple hundred years, slime happened. Something crawled up, and here you are, running the planet. I don't think so. Okay, if God can sling stars into space and they stick, amen, if he can hold the moon, if he can tell that ocean, you're only coming so far. And it comes forward and it goes back. If the sun was a little closer, we'd burn to death. If it was a little bit further away, we'd all freeze to death. But you believe it all blew up and it just stuck there. I don't call you a bright person if you believe that. Doesn't matter how many degrees you got. We're getting a lot of amens right here, I'm telling you. Amen. So God created man as a what of himself? A picture. Now God could have created man like anything he wanted to. He said, no, let's make him in our image. In our likeness. And so we're a picture of Him. We're to be what? Like Him. We're similar to Him. 
You just think about how God is over everything. Didn't God say to man, I will give him what? Dominion over everything, over the fish of the sea, the fowl of the air, everything that creeps. We're made in the image of God. Skyscrapers are not built by monkeys. Y'all notice that, right? Yes or no? Computer programs are not built, you know, by roaches and things. You understand that, right? Got it? Got it? Yes or no? How hard is this? We're made in the image of God. So, how is a good man? Now, a bad man, only the way he looks is a picture of God. Got it? But how about your life? A good man, a good man is a picture of God. How is a good man like God? That's my message today. I value men. I value men. Well, a good man is loving. Say that with me. A good man is what? This is a good man. He's loving. God is love. You understand that? A good man, if we're made in the image of God, how do I look like God? Well, a good man is loving. Did I lose you on that or not? Beloved, here's God's love. Let us love one another. Say it with me. For love is of God, and everyone that loves is born of God and knows God. He that loves not knows not God. Say that last line with me. For God is love. So a good man is loving. As the Father has loved me, so I love you, Jesus says. Now, this isn't that hard. What does a good man look like? How does he reflect God? Number one, he is what? Loving. Don't go to sleep on me. So, loving. Keep going, Roger. Push me, please. So say that with me out loud. I value men. Okay? Loving. A good man is loving. Let's keep looking at how we look like God. Keep looking, guys. Here we go. A lot of these are my words, my terms, to try to make it explanatory for you and make it, you know, cookies on the bottom shelf. A good man is what? Say it with me. Come on, one more time. A good man is what? Relational. Well, wonder, wonder why we're like that. Because God is what? Do you get this image picture thing or not? Am I losing you? Hope not. Henceforth, I call you not servants, Jesus says, for the servant doesn't know what his Lord does. But Jesus says, say it with me, I've called you what? Friends. For all things I have heard of my Father, I have made known to you. Jesus was relational. He, has got, he said, when you've seen me, you've seen the Father. So when we see Jesus interacting, he's relational. That's the way we are. Chris just saw me behind the curtain as he puts up his guitar and everything. And he told me, I told him, I love you guys. I'm proud of you guys. And he said, I'm proud of us too. And he said, I'm really proud of Mitch. And he says, since we've been playing together, both of us have grown a lot. That's what relationships do. Y'all hear me, yes or no? You know. That's what friendships do. Iron sharpens iron as brothers in Christ. Amen? And I love seeing, and I, I, I like the three of you boys, I, I think are my sons. I love seeing that relationship y'all have together. Amen? That's like God. The Lord said, it's not good that the man should be what? Wonder why? Because we're relational. We are relational. That's what a good man is. I'm not saying everybody has a big personality that's off the chart. I get that. But guys, it's normal for us to want to be with people. Amen. It's not normal. We weren't created to be isolated. Isolated. I don't need anybody. I'm going to lock myself in a room and I'm never coming out. I hate to tell you this. That's a little crazy. You hear me or not? Say, that's not, that's not what... We've been called to be what on this planet? Salt and what? Light. Let your light so shine. Where? In your dark room in the house you don't ever come out of. Come on, man. So he says it's not good for you to be alone. So he made a help me. That was my first message. I value women. Amen. And God made women. And the Lord God called unto Adam. This is God speaking. I made Adam. Now he sinned. Where are you? 
Adam. Do you think God knew where Adam was? Sure, he's relational. He won't have a conversation with him. He said, Adam said, I heard your voice in the garden, God, and I was afraid because I was what? Naked, because I had sinned, and I hid myself. I've sinned. I see myself as I really am. You're God. I'm not. And it's just a mess. And I've made a mess of things. But here was God searching. Amen. Looking. God's relational. So say that with me. I what? So a good man is loving. A good man is what? You want to have a better marriage, fellows? Relational. Relational. Talk to that woman. Ma'am, talk to that man. Y'all hear me? Yes or no? Do things together. Enter into each other's likes and worlds and come together. Relationship. Yes or no? Amen or oh me? No, it's all just about the man. No, it ain't, fool. But it also ain't all about you just doting on the woman and she just like the little queen and everything revolves around the queen. That's crazy. We're together. Yes or no? Amen. It's hard for me to talk over this thunder. I don't think I was ever supposed to talk over the thunder. Amen. Let's go with number three. Just studying the Bible with you. A good man is what? One more time. A good man is what? And we said that earlier, didn't we, Chief? He said, you know, that's the way he raised his sons, to be respectable. We want our sons to be good men. Yes or no? Amen? Good men. So God is respectable. So we are, we're to be respectable as men. Respectable. Why? Because God's respectable. I think I'm driving you nuts. The whole message is that we're made in the image of God. We're made as a picture of God. Well, okay, well then what does God look like? So I can know what I'm supposed to look like. Amen? So we're to be respectable. Look at how respectable God is. Oh, Lord, our Lord, how excellent is your what? Name in all the earth who has set your glory above the heavens. God is respect, respectable. We say holy, 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 right? To the Lord. We're to be respectable men. We're to be people who are, our name is respected. We're good people. Say that. We're good what? We're good people. I want people to, that come to Fellowship Church. Anybody's allowed at Fellowship. But guys, I want you to be good men. You hear me or not? Are y'all listening? I want you to be good men. I want you to treat your wife with respect. I want you to treat your children that way. Wives, I want you to respect your husbands. This is the right thing to do. Yes or no? Amen. This is right. Our culture today says men are stupid. That's where we're at today. It's just crazy. I mean, if you watch TV and listen to culture that's coming from TV, you don't know what you're supposed to be. You know, am I supposed to have a sex change this weekend? What's up? Who am I anymore? You better find something that's solid and hang on to it, and that's the Word of God. You're going to be drifting like a ship without a sail, baby. It's a, it's a crazy world out there. Ma uh, marriage matters. Say that with me. Marriage matters. A husband and a wife and procreating the earth. I mean, you can get so smart and fancy for your britches, but I'm telling you what, we're going to run out of people if you men and women don't K together. You hear me say? <laughs> just a matter of time. I'm just telling you. I mean, this is important stuff. Come on. Talk about God. Respectable. When I consider the heavens, God, the work of your fingers, the moon you've made, the stars, God which you've ordained, what am I, God? What am I? What am I that you're mindful of me? But God says, I am mindful of you. What am I, the Son of Man, that you visitest him? You've made him a little lower than the angels. You've crowned him with glory and honor. Now, this is also can, can be talking about the Lord, but guys, this is talking about you and me. He created us a little lower than the angels. No, we're not angels, but we're not far away. God made us in His image and in His likeness. Do y'all understand or not? God, how would you do that? How have you loved me so? Given me a brain, given me ingenuity, giving me, you know, a wherewithal to make a living and to do things. Ha, boy, you're good to me, God. Amen. I'm trying to talk over the thunder. 
Are y'all with me or not? Because it distracts me because I've got the mind of like a three-year-old. Here we go. Nevertheless, fellas, respectable, let every one of you in particular say it with me. So love his wife. as what? Himself. And the wife see that she what? Old-fashioned word. Reverence, reverence your husband. The word is respect. I'm going to tell you, after years of counseling and just living life, ma'am, if you'll respect that man and believe in him, he'll charge hell with a water pistol. To have that respect. I'm not talking about worship. No, but to respect to believe in him. Say believe in him. One more time. Believe in him. Believe in him. Not that he's, you know, God's gift to women or God's gift to whatever. Listen, but you know he's God's gift to you. you he gave you to me. Let him hear that. Talk to him like that. Communicate to him like that. You hear me? And fellas, you don't have to be perfect. We're not, we're not perfect. Oh, I, I can't respect him because he ain't perfect, ma'am. You ain't perfect either. Get the first message, okay? The point is, is that this is, this is we're made like this. We're made in his image. We're made to, to just something about a man when we're respected. When we're respected at work, we work hard. We're like that, aren't we? Yes or no, guys? You know, but if you, don't, you treat me like trash, you treat me like I don't matter, that's why pastoring Fellowship Church is not a job for me. It's not hard for me. People think, oh, I pray for you, Pastor, you don't burn out. What, burn out loving what I do? Because you make it easy for me. You respect me. You believe in me. It's easy for me to live in Inglewood. I don't have people hurling eggs at my house. You know what would happen if they did? I'd hurl them back. Amen. I'd get me some help. No, the point is, I'm just no different than you. You understand? But coming here and talking and preaching and sharing out of my life or talking about hurt I've had, you make, you, you make it possible for me to do that because you respect me. Did I lose you or not? Well, put that in your home and see how relationships get better when there's that built in. Yes or no? Amen? Come on. Blessings are upon the head of the just, but violence covers the mouth of the wicked. If you're respectable and do the right thing, bless, God says, I'll bless you. The memory of the just is blessed, but the name of the wicked will rot. Guys, we need to have a good name and be respectful. Good, say this verse with one of my favorites. Say it with me. A good name is rather to be chosen than great riches and loving favor rather than respectable. That's what I was trying to say. Ma'am, if you reverence that husband, respect that husband, eh, it's a two-way street, guys. But you don't have to have near as much as you thought you had to have when you've got that. Amen. When you've got love and respect at a home. So say it with me. I what? Come on. You're making it tough on me here. Come on. Here we go. A good man is this. Say that with me. One more time. A good man is what? I'm not talking about just the muscles. But I am talking about that too. But I'm talking about strong in character. Strong in resolve. Strong in getting your tail out of bed. Showing up to work on time. Yes or no? Strong in avoiding temptation. No matter what she throws at you. You hear me? A good man is what? A good man ain't God, but a good man has God. A good man is strong. Who is the king of glory? See, we're strong. Why? Because he made us in his image, and he's what? Why is, why is men generally stronger than women? It's not a, that's not a sexist statement. It's just the way it is. I don't know. God made men. Men look like men. Men have muscles of men. I don't get it. You understand or not? Some women have the big muscles. God bless them. Most don't. Yes or no? No. But men are to be strong. Men are to be workers. I don't know if our culture says that anymore. I still believe it. 
Who's the king of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty. The Lord, mighty in battle. Amen. Some of our fighting men, and we have fighting women. I get that. If I had my druthers, they'd be all fighting men. That's me, Gary, talking. I don't want my daughter on the front line. Wouldn't be crazy about Mitch being on the front line, but if I had a choice, Mitch, go get them. You know what I'm saying? I'm just that way. Call me old-fashioned. But the point is, men are to be strong. Say this verse, one of my favorite verses in the Bible. Watch ye... Stand fast in the faith. Quit you like men. Be strong. That's, that's how you need to read that verse. So watch you. You stand fast in the faith. Quit you. How? Like a man. Quit whatever it is. Quit whatever it is that's making you weak. Like a man. And be strong. I love that verse, don't you? Have I not commanded you, Joshua? You're fixing to go into the promised land. Be strong. Be of a good courage. Don't be afraid. Neither be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. A man is to be what? Amen. Come on. I don't like spiders and snakes. I'm a weakling sometimes. I hear sounds in the night. I go, hey, Kim, go check it out. <laughs> I mean, so don't think I'm this strong dude. I'm just like other people. Let's go together. Come on, here we go. Here's a strong man. Say it with me. Hey, what kind of man? Some of us, our muscles give out. and We ain't what we used to be. But we can still have it here, baby. Amen. A wise man strong. A man of knowledge increases his what? I got real smart yesterday. I hired me to Baker Boys. I learned money can get that stuff done. And I can, I can whip them like this. Whoop, whoop, get with it. Say it with me. I what? Keep going. Keep going. I know I'm driving you nuts. A good man does what? Why? Well, cause guess why? Guess why? Because God provides. Why is a man a provider? Cause God is. We were made in his image and his likeness. Why is it that I want to provide for Kim and the kids? Why is it that Chris, you do the electric work you do? And you're probably happy to do it. It ain't easy, but you're happy to provide food for your wife and your children. Why? Because God is. He's a provider. Are we connecting some dots today? Abraham said to his son, they're going to sacrifice, but there was not a lamb. And it was like the Isaac was going to have to be the lamb, remember? But Abraham said, say it with me, my son, God will do what? He'll provide himself a lamb for a burnt offering. So they both of them went together, and sure enough, God provided a lamb. And Abraham called the name of that place where God provided a lamb, Jehovah Jireh. Say that with me. Jehovah Jireh. And you know what that means? The Lord my provider. Say that with me. Jehovah Jireh. The Lord my... One more time. Jehovah Jireh. The Lord my... I'm not against women working. I'm not against most stuff, guys, to be honest with you. But if I had my druthers, if I had my druthers, mama would be at home loving them babies, I'd be out working. You know what I mean? When I come home, there's mama with the little kids. And I'm happy to have worked all day long, provide an income because I'm made in the image of God and this is what I'm supposed to do as a man. Did you hear me? I know that's not the way the world works today. I'm not down on all that. I'm just saying, guys, there's something inside of us. A good man wants to do what? A good man wants to do what? Not look for a free ride. Say it with me. A good man wants to what? Not look for a free ride. I'm smart. I can learn how to not work. You're a bum. Amen. It's not normal. 
to let your grass grow five feet high? Yes or no? You hear me or not? It's not normal to just lay around all day as a man. I don't, I'm not getting up. I'm not talking about you sick. I'm talking about you a bum. That's not normal. Son, did you hear me right there? You listening to me? It ain't normal. Don't be a bum. Did you hear me? Good. I'm glad you heard me. Not that you're a bum or nothing. I'm just picking on you. Good to see you, boy. God bless you. Amen. So keep going, Raj. Push me. I'm wore out. Say that with me. The Lord is my what? I shall not what? Isn't it amazing how he provides for us? Well, we're made in his image, guys. If any man provide not for his own family, those of his own house, say it with me. He has denied the what? And he's worse than an infidel. It's good for you to work and do. I understand if you're sick. I understand if you've got health issues. That's not what I'm talking about. But it's a normal part of us to want to do as fellows. Amen? I value that in men. I value that in men. Help me, buddy. Wow, you're killing me. A good man what? We'll go through this one quickly. Why? Because God protects us. The Lord's my rock. He's my fortress. He's my deliverer. He's my God. He's my strength in whom I trust. He's my buckler. He's the horn of my salvation. He's my high tower. Why would I protect my wife and my family? You're in a church of men and women, by the way, that are protecting you today. We have people in this audience that are carrying heat. This is the worst place for a shooter to come. Did you hear me? Why? Because we believe you matter, and I believe I matter. Got it? Yes or no? I think it's a good thing. Feel safe. Feel safe. I know that sounds a little... I hate that I had to get to that place in our life, but this is the world we live in. Let's praise the Lord for the rain. Come on. If you're parked on the parking lot, you're getting a free car wash. If you're in the grass, you're in a mess. Wow. This hardly ever happens in here. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I'll fear no evil. Guess why I don't fear no evil? Because who's with me? He protects me. I don't feel bad about going long right now. Keep going. Help me, buddy. So say it with me loud. I what? We're getting closer to the end. Wow. A good man does what? I could talk all day on this one. For whom the Lord... See, why do we discipline? Because God disciplines. I made in His image. Why would I not discipline my children when He disciplines His children? It's a dumb it. Well, it's because Dr. Spock said I should. I could care less about him. Come on. Whom the Lord? Yeah, come on, guys. If you're going to have kids, you're going to have to discipline your kids. They don't come out little angels. They come out, yeah! Okay? For whom the Lord loves, He what? chastens. And he scourges every son he receives. If you endure chastening, God deals with you as a what? For what son does his father not discipline? A bum of a father lets his son, his little boy, get by with crap. Here's the way my mama raised me. She never said she loved us. I can't remember her saying, I love you. I love your blue eyes. I don't remember hearing any of that. Here's how mama, I discovered it later in life. Mama taught me, and she had to be like the man in the family. That's the way mama was. She raised us pert near. That's what it was. But mama taught me she loved me by beating my tail. That's terrible, ain't it? Here's how she taught me she loved me. You're not getting by with that. You belong to me. And I learned as a kid, I mattered to her. You understand that or not? Your kids are not going to learn if you don't teach them, you matter to me. You're not getting by with that. That's not how the Clarks live. You're not going to lie like a dog like that and get by with it. Yes or no? Amen. You're done. You're punished. You're in your room. Your tail is getting popped. Amen. Excuse me. If that don't fly with you, that's your problem. 
chasing your son while there's still what? And I bet you some in this room wish you'd have done more. You wish you'd have done more. You wish you'd have done more. You trying to be good buddy instead of be his dad. Yes or no? You can be dad. You can be buddies. How about be buddies later? When you're raising them, be their dad. Amen. Are y'all with me or not? If you're not, that's fine. You might have another persuasion. That's the Bible. Did you see the Bible? Come on. I value men. I value men who discipline their children. If you abuse your children, you're horrible. You're horrible. You're disgusting. Amen. Don't use your hand. Don't. Here's a, just some advice from, from, from Daddy Gary. Don't use your hand to spank your child. Don't use your hand to slap your child. Don't do that. These hands are meant to love. See them? I love you. See that? I love you. If you're going to spank a kid, I always had like a paddle. That's what I had. I had a paddle. It was a paddle. I hardly ever had to use it. Oh, I used it a couple of times. It sat right on the top of the fridge when Mitch and Elise were growing up. And the handle I left sticking out. Every time you go to the fridge. Enough said. Amen? These hands are meant to love. If you are the type of person that you just, your kid does something and you just pop them, stop it. You don't, don't raise your kids like that. It's, it's natural though, isn't it? Yes or no? Just a whap! Guys, think it through. That's not discipline. That's, that's not proper. You can do a better job than that. Amen? But also, don't go to the other side of the planet where it's time out or nothing. Sometimes time out ain't always going to cut it. That's just me talking. A good man, he does what? This is a good man. Guess why we sacrifice? Because guess who sacrificed? Yeah. For God so loved the world, he gave us what? And whosoever believes in him should not perish, baby. You telling me, you greedy, it's all about you. Telling the wife, get me my drink. Get me this, do me that. This is how God feels about it. He's raining on you right now. Amen? Come on. Here's, here's what a good man does. Say it with me. Greater love has no man than this, that a man do what? That's a good man. How many were in our military? Let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. You're in our military. You went into the military knowing you might have to die and give your life for somebody else, didn't you? Yes or no? Come on, let's thank God for it. Men and women, come on. That's what a good man does. wonder why America's so great. Because we have good men and women. But this is my man message. So I value men. And here's the last one and we're done. I'm wore out. Y'all have killed me today. A good man does what? Say it loud. A good man does what? Can we do it one more time? A good man does what? We were made in the image of God. Wonder why a good man forgives. Take a wild guess. Because God what? Hope you're learning today. Slime can't do this. If you didn't matter, you wouldn't be able to do the things we put on the screen today. If you weren't made in the image of God, you wouldn't be able to do this. You're somebody special, fellows. Did you hear me, yes or no? You're special today. You matter. You hear me? Lift up your head, fellas. How many fellows sometimes just through culture, you just feel beat down? Let me see your hands. You feel sort of beat down. Sort of beat down. Beat down. I'm trying to lift you up a little bit today. You hear me? Come on. Here's the last one. If we confess our sins, say it with me. He is what? And just to do what? Forgive our sins and to cleanse us from all what? Look what this says. But if you don't forgive, neither will your Father in heaven forgive you. Fellas, forgive. Forgive. You have to forgive or God won't forgive you. It's not because God can't forgive you. He knows you can and won't. 
He knows you can because He made you in His image. You have the power, the capacity to forgive. He doesn't want you to be an idiot. You don't have to be hurt, guys, and go back into the same stupid hurt. But you cannot carry that hurt with you the rest of your life. Did you hear me? Guys, I was hurt. I was hurt. I was hurt. But Kim deserves a husband. Kim Clark deserves a husband. I chose to remarry. I cannot bring all that into my marriage. I'm not superhuman. Some of it still sticks on me. But I cannot treat her who I'm living with now with unforgiveness because of what someone else did to me. I cannot treat her with disrespect because of what someone else did to me. Have I lost you on this? Guys, we must forgive. Say that with me. Guys, we must. One more time. Guys, we must. We must. And we got to forgive ourselves. Don't make excuses. But you have to also do that. You hear me? Why? Because God does what? He forgives me. So this is a good man. That's what we've done today. So since God created man as a picture of himself to be like or similar to him, then do what? Be like him. Say that with me. Be like him. Why won't I be like Jesus? Why can't I be Jesus strong? I can be. I wear it. I can do it. So be strong, guys. What kind of strong? Let's praise the Lord for His Word. I'm deader than a hammer. Praise the Lord. Wow, man. Preaching in rain is hard. Come on. Fellowship meets every Sunday morning on our beautiful 15 and a half acre campus in the Bullseye of Rotunda, West Florida at 140 Rotunda Boulevard West. Early worship begins at 8.30 a.m. with our morning worship service beginning at 10.30 a.m. Between these two services, we offer gourmet coffee, fresh juices, pastries, and lots of fellowship free of charge in our hospitality center. If you are looking for a church in the Inglewood area or would just like to pay us a visit, we would love to fellowship with you. For more information, give us a call at 941-475-7447 or log on to fcinglewood.com. For Pastor Gary Clark and all of us at Fellowship, God bless you.